Hello, today I'm going to show you how to draw a pinwheel. Let's open a new document, go to File, New and set the profile to Web. Click OK. Now let's get rid of the stroke and change the fill to dark yellow. Next, select the rounded rectangle tool, click on the artboard and type 800 for the width, 500 for the height and 30 for the corner radius. Click OK. Next, we'll get rid of the bottom round corners. To do that, select the rectangle tool and draw a long and narrow rectangle covering the four anchor points on the bottom. Now select everything, go to Pathfinder. If you don't see it open, go to Window and select Pathfinder. And choose minus front. Next we will duplicate this shape. Press Ctrl C to copy and Ctrl F to paste in front. And let's change the color of the top shape to green. Now when I move the top shape you can see the other one behind it. Let's undo it. Let's open the sub layers and lock the bottom layer. Now we will modify the top shape using the delete anchor point tool. Click on this anchor point to delete it. And these two as well. Next switch to the direct selection tool and holding down the shift key move this anchor point to about right here. Now press the shift and C keys on your keyboard to switch to the convert anchor point tool. Click on this anchor point and holding down the shift key move your mouse to round the corner. Let's unlock the bottom layer. And we will delete this part. To do that go to the Shape Builder tool and holding down the ALT key click on this part to delete it. Now using the Direct Selection tool select the green part and we will add a gradient to it. Open the gradient panel and let's move this green color to the gradient slider. Now copy it Double click on this box and change the color to dark green. And let's adjust the gradient. Now let's add the same gradient to the other part. Click on it to select it. Then using the eyedropper tool click on the green part to get a sample. And let's adjust the gradient. Now select everything, let's resize it and move it to the center. And finally select the rotate tool and holding down the ALT key Click on this anchor point to set the rotation point. Type 90 for the angle and click copy. And press Ctrl D two times to get two more copies. And let's resize it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.